Hello everybody, Marcian Petrescu here from uh, Romania, from Bucharest, with another uh, video. Uh, this time I'm going to show you and I'm going to demonstrate you how uh, can be used in uh, for harmonica playing, amplified harmonica playing. Uh, two microphones that are, uh, let's say, totally different and different than the you know the normal microphones many of you are using. And I'm talking here about crystal, ceramic, and uh, control magnetic uh, microphones with, let's say, a, <clears throat> a bullet shape uh, uh, case. Or maybe the, the newer version, the Bulletini, or maybe a dynamic high impedance uh, or low impedance microphone, uh, let's say, modified by Greg Human, or maybe for the Jason Ritchie harmonica microphone, and other stuff like that. In this video, because, uh, by the way, uh, on Facebook groups, uh, Harmonica Gear, Hapton, Junkies and other groups like that, uh, <clears throat> devoted to uh, harmonica playing and not, ne not necessarily related to blues playing, harmonica blues playing, there was uh, some discussion about, uh, about a, a specific microphone, uh, I'm talking here about the Shaker Mat Cat. And uh, I'm gonna do, uh, I, I told you there that I'm going to make a video uh, demonstrating my uh, modified uh, shaker method microphone and uh, how effective is this microphone in conjunction with the let with the with the pedal board because you can get some really funky stuff out of this uh, this this microphone and uh, to, to to me it's a very useful tool it's a very useful addition because it's it's different it's unique in the, in the shape it's unique in the way you you are holding this microphone in in uh, uh, in your cut hands, and also I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna demonstrate you because I was lucky to find in Romania on a website, let's say let's say some sort of eBay, Romanian eBay. Uh, I managed to find a, a very very uh, uh, particular microphone. This one is a Sony ECM50. Basically, this is a lavalier microphone uh, for uh, interviews and other stuff like that. Use mainly in television, in broadcasting, or something in, in um, field television. And this is an electret condenser microphone, very small. And this one is, is unique because, uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, come a little bit closer, and we'll start, we'll start with this microphone here. As you can see, this microphone is it's, it's different. It's a small microphone, it has a clip, that is, it can be attached on the on the shirt, let's say, or something like that. And also, it's unique because it has this, this unit here. If you unscrew the, 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 you know, this unit, inside here you can see there is basically in, in, inside this part of the, of this unit, there is a, there is a preamp section or something like that an electronic circuit and I don't want to, 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 to open it but this here is, the, uh, is, a, is a place that has a battery compartment so this is a very peculiar, uh, peculiar uh, 1.5 volts uh, battery this is a, is a type called N or E90 in, in other, uh, from other manufacturers it's very hard to find uh, it's very hard to find this kind of uh, uh, 1.5 volts alkaline alkaline batteries but it's very very uh, handy because you can use this microphone and uh, you don't have to 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 have you don't have to to be uh, attached to a device to uh, uh, that will provide you phantom power 48 volts phantom power it has phantom power from this from this uh, battery inside so this is a very peculiar microphone is is has a very uh, a, a very strong output when the, when i connected it uh, with the with the aid of this uh, AKG snap on transmitter wireless transmitter when i'm uh, uh, i'm using this uh, wireless transmitter from my AKG wireless system with my uh, with my uh, sound system, pedal board sound system in conjunction with uh, that uh, uh, Fender uh, Super Reverb Tube uh, or Tube Amp uh, guitar amp or harmonica amp uh, this microphone has a very very strong output because 
I'm using from my uh, system, I'm using an impedance matching transformer. This is a whirlwind little uh, iron key. So uh, the sound is very, very, very uh, uh, powerful and also has a very uh, good uh, spectrum of low frequencies. That's why I have to cut a little bit on, on the lows. And also, uh, even with the even with the uh, Kinder Andy feedback on, uh, the, the, the sound is so powerful and uh, the, the output is so powerful that I uh, can raise the volume of the amp uh, more than four. And I'm going to demonstrate you how it sounds, this, uh, this microphone. I'm going to use uh, my trusty uh, Honer Rocket uh, harmonica in C and let's give it a shot and uh, let's see what happens. I have to open this. Okay, and the sound it will be like this. So I'm making hand tremolo. Fully amplified from the inside of my uh, cupped hands. So, right now we're going to demonstrate a little bit the wah-wah uh, effect technique. So you hear some kind of a buzzing. There is a, the the cooler uh, the cooler fan for the amp. I can I can turn it off. It's no problem. So that was the <laughs> the Sony condenser mini condenser ECM50. This one also it will be a very uh, very good idea to use it in a studio uh, situation. Plug it into a good preamp. A good maybe a good DI box or something like that with from from that DI box in a good in a good preamp and you you have a very 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 good sound. Okay, right now I'm going to show you my shaker Mapcat microphone. This one and I hope you see this. This one is from an older. Uh, from an older period. I think I bought this one in 1999 or 2000. No, I bought it in 2006, but this is from a batch made in the late 90s, early 2000. Also, the design of the grill of this ring and uh, the design of the body is different. And basically, you, if you know about, uh, something about this microphone, you know that from this part of the microphone body, where it's uh, the uh, volume potentiometer uh, comes out a little uh, uh, a cable, a normal instrument cable with a quarter inch mail jack at the end. And from with that cable, it, I don't know, it's I don't know, maybe it's um, two feet long or something like that. The original cable. So, if you want to use a longer cable, you need to use uh, you need to use a special connector. Uh, quarter inch uh, female female connect, uh, connector uh, jack female connector uh, at both ends to uh, uh, use this microphone uh, in conjunction with the longer cable to the amp to an amp or to a pedal board or to a pedal or something like that I know that uh, uh, Peter Madcath Ruth the the guy who, who, who designed who had the idea of, uh, of this kind of design for a microphone uh, is using the, the, this microphone in, uh, with also with pedals or direct into an amp or something like that. But I had an obsession for many years to get rid of that quarter inch male jack and to be able to use this microphone with this with this uh, AKG 
uh, with my AKG wireless uh, wireless system that has this kind of a uh, uh, snap-on uh, transmitter. So I was thinking, how can I do that? So basically, I use this kind, this uh, this piece here. And by the way, I ch I uh, man uh, decided to change the original uh, volume potentiometer because it was pretty crappy. I have to tell you this, it was pretty crappy. And I put inside here a high quality Vishai uh, uh, potentiometer. I, thought, I think it's 10 kilo ohms or 1 kilo ohms, something like that. And it's high quality capsulated military uh, grade uh, uh, style uh, cap, uh, capsulated uh, uh, potentiometer. And the, the basic idea is this potentiometer has a rotational life of about 60,000 cycles. So it's it's, uh, it's a very high quality uh, potentiometer. So I use this piece here, secure with this, uh, with, with the original uh, um, uh, nut from, uh, for the, for the uh, volume port and also I use this, this screw here and also the original cable, I cut it and I managed to fit this here, this uh, um, XLR connector Mail connector. So basically, and, and this is a collier or something like that, and it's not, it's not you know very commercial looking, but the it, it it does the job. So look here. I place the transmitter there. Power on. Put it here inside my. Yeah, I can put it here, but I prefer to 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 use it like this. Okay, harmonica here, enough space. Okay, so check it out. placement you can use this your thumb to to operate the volume control like this or like this maybe I have pretty small hands but These are the two microphones I uh, wanted to demonstrate you. Uh, basically, uh, if you plug them directly into, uh, into the amp, it's, let's say, <coughs> maybe it doesn't have the same attack because I use all sorts of gizmos here, a compressor, a BB Sonic Stomp. But by the way, if you want, I can do that. It's no problem. So let's put this one standby, put this out. So this is a normal microphone cable, balance cable with a short uh, IMT uh, at the end, impedance matching transformer. So let's say I I will uh, I took out this transmitter. I plug this here like this. Put it here. Microphone here. Harmonica here. Stand by on, off, like this, and so. I have 
to tell you, the Maya amp it's set, uh, it's uh, had a, a very peculiar uh, uh, preamp tube setup, so it will sound good in conjunction with this system. Uh, if I want to to make it sound good with, uh, I can I have to crank the volume here on seven. I have to put the, the let's say the treble at three, and maybe uh, no the treble on two, and maybe add a little bit the the mids on three or something like that. And sounds good. Sounds good, even in this configuration. And also, uh, but for this I have to put back the the volume. Let's say a three or something, something like this, to test the. Sony condenser because this is a different different beast. Check it out. microphone it's situation it's a little bit tricky because <coughs> the microphone <coughs> in conjunction with this uh, sure IMT impedance matching transformer have a very powerful output so it's different and also it's uh, the, the, the condenser it's an omnidirectional very 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 important omnidirectional microphone so in conjunction with this system with uh, an anti-feedback it, it sounds very good and uh, also I have here an EQ and so on, so on. But both of them, as you say, as you, so uh, both these microphones can be used uh, for different, uh, a different approach, a totally different approach in harmonica amplified sound. So this is the shaker, Madcat shaker microphone from from an older. Uh, an older batch made, I told you, in the late late 90s, early 2000, but I think in the late 90s was made. And this is the Sony ECM50 uh, Lavalier uh, electric condenser microphone with built-in phantom power, 1.4, uh, 1.5 volts um, uh, battery, alkaline battery, uh, model N or E90 <coughs> with built-in preamp or electronic contraptions I don't know exactly what in, what's inside here but this one is very small I'm gonna make a special ring or something to to attach it to the to my finger because I want to get rid of this so basically you can use it like this or like this and it will do the trick uh, <clears throat> thank you so much for watching and I hope you will, you'll enjoy my video take care bye bye